Hello, this is Claude, and uh, today's video is about the Thermal Take Premium uh, Plus fans and the pinout of the uh, dedicated header that comes with these fans. And the purpose of the video is to show the pinout of the fans. And my hypothesis and question was can I control these? Because these are great fans. I think these are the best, some of the best fans over there. The Ring Plus uh, 12, these are 12 centimeters. I've got some 14 on the desk. Uh, and these are 12 volts fans. Uh, these are not the newer ones. Thermal has got newer ones. Uh, ARGB uh, 5 volts fans. And actually, they're cheap. Uh, so my question is, can I use these fans, the premium fans, the Ring Plus 12 or 14, but the Plus fans, the premium ones, uh, that come with that the stupid little controller that really doesn't do nothing, doesn't work, and then you, have, you can dizzy chain them over. That's good. But I don't like this at all. So my question is, can I take the hypothesis was, can I take the fans, take the header, that dedicated header that I'm going to show here, can I take this header uh, and then split it in ways that I can do my own fan, uh, uh, split this cable and then the fan, the, the, the connectors that I want and be able to control directly through the motherboard. So that's the question, all right? There you go, it did the thing, all right? So you can see the top row's got uh, five or four uh, pins that can go. The first one to the top left is blocked, it's solid. The bottom row is the five pins can go there, but there's nothing on the far left bottom one, all right? So can I split the cable? What is the pinout of this cable? Can I split this so I can control my motherboard? You can see under the 14 fan there, coming out of a computer, that I've got some ARGB strips. You can have a hint there if, he, if we can do it or not, all right? So that is the hypothesis, and this is what this video is about, all right? Can we do that? And the answer is, uh, all right, I'm doing right now, and the answer is, and then I go to something else. I'm doing, I, I, I got the computer that's controlling this uh, strip right there, the Asus strip here, is a motherboard, a Z490E of Asus uh, with the 10 gen, uh, you know, a chip. I got the 10700K on this, on one of the few that are available. I was able to snatch it in Canada uh, about a month and a half ago. So I've updated that. So the motherboard that I took out of this computer that I'm using now at a Z or at the one Z 170 or whatever it's called, right? It's 170 uh, a motherboard uh, with an older generation uh, or a chipset. And then, uh, so I'm using this. I'm going to upgrade my daughter's computer. I've got a whole bunch of these thermal take fans. And I wanted to know, can I split the header so I can have uh, the fans controlled straight by uh, the uh, fan expert on the AI suite from Asus straight on the motherboard and control the RGB of these fans directly out of the 12-volt um, the RGB header on this motherboard? And on a standard 12-volt RGB motherboard, you cannot do it, all right? And I'm going to shoot the pinout. I'm going to explain the pinout after and why you cannot do it. If you have a newer, like I have right now, uh, ARGB fan header, uh, fan header, ARGB, RGB header on your motherboard, yes, you can do it, all right? So the fan itself is 12 volts, all right? The fan themselves or the fan itself on the plus one, they are 12 volts, uh, 12 volt, right? So the fans are 12 volts, uh, but the RGB are ARGB 5 volt in this, all right? So then, uh, so you can do that on a newer motherboard that's got the 5 volt ARGB header, all right? Uh, so uh, as you can see, I have done my own cable. So this is the cable here that goes out of the fan, and I've done my little cable here, and then I put it to a female SM, uh, SMJ uh, cable, and I just connected it to my uh, Strix uh, ARGB uh, strip, all right? That comes straight from the motherboard on this on my computer. So as you can see, the strip coming from the motherboard is, I've got it on rainbow way or whatever, or color cycle, and you can see the fan goes with it perfectly fine, so it does work, all right? So now let me go, as you can see, it, there's two sections on, on, on the fan itself, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit to explain. There we go. So there are two sections on the fan, right? And then you can see here, this is the RGB part, ARGB part, 5 volt. That's coming from this side, so it goes from here. So from the when you connect to the, 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 the fan to the header, this header over here, 
it connects through here and then just from here there's it, it goes under and it's all in the little pcb of the fan right so everything is happening basically in this section the first section on the top here the uh, on, on the uh, on this thing inside i'm going to tell you what it sh what it is on the header itself all right so the pinout for this the first part the top row where you have the solid uh pin all right this is the fan uh, area so these are so you can actually remove this and then make your own uh, uh, possible uh, PWM fan header you can just solder it and then just send it to your motherboard to a fan header or put it to a fan controller or put it into like a 3 to 1 uh, Y and then put you know by section me I would like to have the the ones for the AIO liquid cooler to go into the CPU fan uh, and then after that the one in the back go to chassis 2 and the one in the front chassis 1 right and then I can control with my software differently so the the top part here is for the fan all right so as you see the, the the solid pin is nothing the one after that is the ground is the black cable is the ground the yellow cable after that is the uh, 12 volt the green cable is a tachometer and then the last cable the blue is for pulse width modulator the reason why i know that is because there's a p on on the little pcb so they're identified more or less so i know that's what it is and this is a standard uh pwm fan uh you know cable order so that's perfectly fine all right so that's what it is right there on the other side the 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 part we get the five pins on the header on the, the fan header itself uh on the fan connector sorry um so the bottom is top bottom left if you look at it from the front with the solid on top left the bottom is empty the second one is the five volt is a black cable with a solid white bar on it then the next one here is a, on the fan thing if i go under in the second row it says do so i, I assume it was data zero and there's nothing there uh, so it's, this cable is actually not used i'm not using it right now and i'm controlling it from my motherboard of the computer i'm using right now from the argb header five volt uh that and the five volt data nothing ground pin all right header on the motherboard so uh, the next one is the d1 uh, with the black cable that's the data that's the one that sends the color signal to the fan let's see what happens if i remove that here changes nothing <gasps> there you go okay so it send the signal give me red let's go blue I got the mm -mm -mm. and then the last cable here is the crown all right so basically what you can do like I said this is these are the the colors of the thing that these are the fan colors right like I said black is the crown and after that this one here the yellow is the 12 volt the green after that is the uh, tachometer and then the purple or the bluish one is the pulse switch modulator and then the cables under uh, like I said if you're going to split them to put in the ARGB like I've done myself, I've done my own cables, I've done my own section that comes here in SMJ, I've done this. As you can see here, I've connected there down below. So this is why you need to make sure you keep the order of this thing. So if you make your own cable, you, when you remove them, uh, you need to make sure that since you've got a couple of black cables under that are not well identified, uh, me, I, when I would do that, I would just remove one by one from the header, from the connector, and then solder, and then remove the other one, and solder, and then, and then so on. So like this, you keep the order, all right? When you do these kind of things, obviously what you need to do, and then the proof is in the pudding, it's working right now, um, and then the fans are working, but if I would just take my power supply and put apply the 12 volt, it would just like a beauty, I've done that. I will actually try to edit that and, and, and show it. So uh, it's working, all right? Uh, so uh, like I say all the time, you have to measure two, three, four times before applying the power to anything. Uh, you do it on your own. So uh, this is uh, the answer to a very few of the view that might have asked the question, can I use these Ring Plus, the, the premium fans, the 12 volt fans, and split that and control through a motherboard. On ARGB motherboard, yes, you can do it. On motherboard with a standard 12 volt RGB, no, you cannot. And on the newer one, I just make, make sure it has to be a 5 volt ARGB header on your motherboard or else uh, it's not gonna work all right or you're gonna gonna you're gonna send 12 volts to a 5 volt rgb so if you send too much voltage to it the little rgbs are gonna go poof all 
all right? And you're gonna break it. All right, so uh, you do that on your own, but the pinout is right here. Uh, it's not found nowhere else. I couldn't find it anywhere, so I did it myself. This is 99% um, sure. The only pin that I don't know is the, the third one from the bottom row on the fan connector. The one that says DO in this little PCB. Uh, but it's not being used, and the proof is I'm using it right now without this. I'm, I only have three cables coming out, and it's working just fine. All right, so that's 99% sure that it's working and it's been running there for more than an hour so it's no problem whatsoever all right so there you go so i hope that uh you've uh, you've you were either entertained by this video that you learned something or that uh hopefully that i'm helping you doing the mod that uh, you're looking to do on your computer it's always nice to do more than what you just can buy commercially you do your own stuff and then you can wow everybody but there's always a price to it if you go too fast you don't take the time to to triple check you might lose something, and that is on your own. All right, thanks for watching this video. Take care. See you at the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.